Well, hi everyone. Well, there's breaking news today. I'm recording this on February 10th, 2025. Apparently the I-80 eastbound lanes in New Jersey near Wharton, just east of exit 34, has pretty large subsidence, five, six inches is, is being reported. And this is the exact same location that previously had a very large sinkhole, you know, over 100 feet long, in excess of 20, 30 foot in depth. This happened originally the day after Christmas of 2024, and New Jersey DOT sent crews out there to backfill the sinkhole and repave it. And I did a video about this previously, not long after this had happened, and I gave you a whole background of what these sinkholes are tied to. It's related to, to old mining activity, and uh, I don't want to repeat everything in that video, so you can check that out. I'll put a link in the description as well. But this is what the uh, helicopter footage from the NBC affiliate looked like. So you have the crews checking out the area that subsided. This is the area along the interchange that we're talking about with the red arrow here. I'm going to show you some footage from last December to give you an idea of how big this sinkhole was. And of course, it's just a few hundred feet away from this apartment complex. There's miles long backups today related to the lane closures. Significant uh, opening that developed here back in December. So again, this area's had a lot of mining. I circled a line of mines in the area of this sinkhole. So let's go back to some of this footage from today. You've got seven or eight crew members standing on top of the area that's sunken down on the roadway, this five or six inch depression. That's not a good place to stand. You can have void space directly underneath the pavement and the pavement could give way quite suddenly and a person can find themselves in a very deep hole. And of course, traffic was considerably backed up as a result of the lane closures. I think the takeaway here is the, the whack-a-mole approach, as one might call it, of, oh, we got a sinkhole, let's backfill it and repave and hope it doesn't happen again. I mean, that's not a, a long-term solution in my opinion. Uh, so I, as I suggested in the previous video, they may want to consider an extensive investigation program to find out what's out there and to treat it in a more long-term fashion, whether it's infilling uh, flowable fill grout or compaction grout into these old mine areas or areas that have formed sinkholes. And one of the techniques that I mentioned to help identify areas was the use of LIDAR or surface geophysics or satellite-based INSAR. You know, you could go to companies like Value Space and monitor key aspects of your infrastructure, like a section of highway. You know, the black asphalt doesn't reflect radar signals too well, but you can put reflectors in an area that you want to monitor, and you can get changes in ground surface elevation over time, which can lead you to an early warning of the development of a sinkhole. So I'm going to just show you a quick segment of that methodology. So Value Space works with the Sentinel 1 and 2 data collected by the European Space Agency. This is satellite-based radar that scans the surface of the Earth, and a given point on the Earth has a repeat pass every 12 days. So by analyzing the changes in surface elevation between passes, you could determine if there's likely to be areas of movement or concern for a variety of infrastructure projects or geological features, that sort of thing. So I don't envy New Jersey DOT. It's a real challenge they have on their hands because they don't want to close down large sections of the roadway for long periods of time. But at the same time, they've got an active situation out there and I don't know that they fully characterize the risk as far as the locations for possible development of additional sinkholes right underneath the highway. So I would wonder if they're going to embark on a really intensive investigation and remediation program. That would suggest the way forward for a long-term solution. So please let me know what you think in the comments section. And with that, I want to send a big thanks to those of you who've contributed to buy me a coffee. That's a great way to support this channel. Also, I want to thank those of you who are channel members. I've had channel members for over a year now in some cases. And of course, those of you who provided super thanks. So please stay tuned for future videos. I'll also continue to monitor this situation in New Jersey. Thanks very much, everyone.